The boardroom where ideas come through. The boardroom power your idea. Hello, Nigeria. How do you define yourself as a nation? Do you define yourself by your production or by your consumption? People define themselves by their consumption and not by their production. Most people believe they belong to what they consume. The brands they use, their celebrities, the TV shows they watch, and the subcultures they belong to. But what you need to realize is that consumption requires zero effort. Whereas productivity requires the sweat of one's brow to make things happen. Productivity is the ultimate engine of growth in the global economy. Raising productivity is therefore a fundamental challenge for countries that desire growth. An English crime writer and poet, Dorothy Sayers, once wrote that a society in which consumption has to be artificially stimulated in order to keep production going is a society founded on trash and waste. For such a society is a house built upon sand. That is the current economic state of our dear country. As an entrepreneur, I feel pained seeing the level of development of Nigerians' contemporaries in the 80s. Countries like Brazil, India, South Korea, and Mexico. I look at the kind of politics we play today, and I feel sorry for Nigeria. And don't forget that the politics shape the well-being of the citizens. Therefore, I would like to ask this pertinent question at this critical time of our history. What does Nigeria spend most of our time doing? Producing or consuming? I believe we all know the answer. For decades now, we've continually witnessed consumption-based economy and we've continually faced the music, except for the political class, that have driven the economy into a comatose state. Consumption-based economy has ushered us into unemployment rate of 33% of our population, out of which we have over 21 million young people who are angry and restless due to joblessness. Consumption-based economy has forced us to depend solely on crude oil, which makes our economy vulnerable. Consumption-based economy has caused our external debt to rise steadily in the recent years, which has also hampered the country's ability to invest in her economic future. Although there is nothing wrong with borrowing, but the usage is where the issue lies. According to United Nations, Nigeria is expected to be the world's third most populous country by 2050, with over 300 million people. And for real, Nigeria is currently experiencing a booming population, which requires more jobs, more opportunities, and a stable political environment, amongst others. I believe we can change the narrative. We can change the political trajectory of our dear country. And the time is now. We cannot continue to do the same old thing and expect a different result. It's high time we took up our fair share of the global productive body. It's high time we took back our country. I urge you to choose production over consumption. Productivity is important in any economy because of its enormous impact on the standard of living. It increases wages. We must temporarily reduce consumption to make investments that will increase 
productivity and support more consumption in the future. We need to genuinely increase human capital as poverty is fast taking over all the nooks and crannies of the country. We need a wealth creator and not a spent thrift. We need a leader who will invest in people through healthcare, quality education, job creation, and skills that will help develop human capital. That is the key to eradicating extreme poverty and creating more inclusive societies. This is the season to make the needed change. As we we'll approach the election period, I want you to take a deep reflection and be true to your conscience. Play down the tribal and political sentiments and ask your inner mind that amongst the presidential candidates, who has the capacity, the credibility, the track record, and the willpower to take us from consumption to production? You know the candidates, I know the candidates, they know the candidates. But trust me, power is not given. Power is taken. So it is left for us, the masses, the North, the South, the East, West, to collectively make a loud statement with our voting power to elect the right candidate for the job. And I'm calling on patriotic Nigerians to support the movement the young people have started. I can assure you that it will yield the desired change we've been yearning for by God's grace, Ishallah. So go get your PVC and take back Niger now. God bless Federal Republic of Nigeria. Follow us on social media platforms and subscribe to our YouTube channel for the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. The